Hi there, uh, this video we're going to look at something called UI kits. They've got other names and I'll describe them in a second, but basically it's looking for other, instead of looking for kind of individual icon sets, is to look at kind of existing other people's um, XD files that you can open and borrow uh, icons from. So I've got a couple here that we're going to look at. I'm going to show you what to look for, how to get them, and we can use them for our uh, project. So probably the easiest term to Google is XD UI kits. Kits is the word we want, kind of a pre-made kit, and it's going to have icons in it, okay, but it's going to also have other elements that we might need. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the ones I've downloaded. And um, so this one here, you can see it has buttons all ready to go. They're a bit too stylized, but we could down um, style these. Okay, but there's a big kit in this one we'll download. All sorts of things that you're just like, oh yeah, uh, I need a loading thing. And I need a image placeholder. Don't like that one. I need a heart, there you go. Okay, all sorts, of, oh, check boxes. Oh, there's my, um, where you go, my radio buttons that, <laughs> okay, you might need help with. It's hard to know what it should exactly look like. And um, so UI kits is one word. Another word that you might be looking for is sticker sheet. Okay, another, that's what people sometimes call it as well. They call it a sticker sheet where you've just, yeah, it's like this, this is a sticker sheet. All sorts of stuff all over the place kind of to help you build things. And another one is a design system. Now design system is quite the big, uh, we'll talk about design systems towards the end of the course. Okay, it's what um, a larger company will produce to help uh, describe what they are building when it's huge, big company. Okay, but also you can use that term to find stuff, even if you just wanna steal icons out of it. Steals the wrong word. Appropriate, borrow, you know, like this one here is the Google uh, UI kit, okay? Um, and Google Android to be specific. So if you're trying to mock up a phone and use all the buttons that are, you know, naturally on a phone, it's good to use this because it looks like instead of you trying to copy what it might look like in terms of the user interface, okay, you can use these like dialogues and it will match kind of the font and the right kind of positioning and styling. So forget I said the word stealing, appropriation is better. Okay, UI kits, sticker sheets, design systems, that's what we're looking for. So what we end up getting is, I did the search here and I ended up with these results. Okay, they can be tricky. Um, why are they tricky? Finding free stuff online, um, a lot of people are doing uh, good and bad things. So um, sometimes you end up going and finding this and you go, okay, great, I found the site. I like XD Guru, they're really good. Okay, and um, they've got free UI kits. Great, this one I'm looking for. And it's probably gonna be XD because it's called XD Guru. Um, but some of the links don't work anymore. Okay, um, that one there says free, but I just, chase that one down and it's not free anymore it's five dollars i don't think this person should be selling it for free okay it just it says free and then it's not which is disappointing plus lots of them are sign up for email stuff and there's a be prepared for that that's what i want you to say is that it's sometimes a little bit um spammy that way where you've got to download and log in and sign up for free something or other it's all free but you've got to hand over a lot of personal details. So what I tend to do, some of these work, some of them don't. And um, what I tend to do is uh, Adobe, okay? Well, I've got this here, this will change. They seem to change it, they might update it. Okay, so adobe.com slash products, xd slash features slash uikits.html. I'll actually post this link now in the exercise files. I will call it xd ui kit link. <laughs> Look for that file. Okay, it, you end up here and it's cool because it has uh, the kit for Apple. Okay, so I've shown you the kit that we've got for, they call it Google Material. Google Material is what is the name of all the design system for Android okay, devices. I'm an Android person, so that's why I've got this one. If you're an Apple person, um, download the Apple kit. You'll end up in a, with a similar kind of style in here, kind of things all laid out nicely that you can go and grab. Okay, so um, also in here down the bottom, there is a bunch of other ones. And these ones, the kits are just direct link. You don't have to give, you don't have to sign over your privacy. You just kind of download these. I've downloaded one of them. Which one? I think I downloaded the hand-drawn UI kit in your exercise file so that you can have a look at it. Okay, and all it is is, where is it in our exercise files? Uh, I've got these two UI kits. Okay, just to save you some time if you want to look at one. Okay, but um, there's the material from Google. Okay, remember Android? And there is the UI uh, hand-drawn one. Okay, and if I just double-click them and open them, they open up in Adobe XD. Let's look at that other hand-drawn one. That's what this one is. Look, there's a bunch of icons. Okay, so 
there is just a nice way to get started finding other people's UI kits. It's already in XD. It's not only icons, it can be like things like buttons and you can build your full wireframe with all of this stuff. How do you zoom out to see it all? Anybody remember? Ah, you remember. Command or control zero. Okay, look at that. It's pretty complete. And then how do you use it? You need to copy and paste it. Okay, sometimes they might be grouped. We'll look at grouping in uh, some other bits in a second, but let's say you really want that thing. Okay, that's that icon in the middle. You can see it's kind of part of all of this. Okay, I can right click it and say, let's ungroup. Mm, still grouped. <laughs> ungroup it again. And now it's all in pieces. So I'm gonna select these two. Move it over, ah, oh. <laughs> hold shift and click these two. So I leave this in there because that's what happens. Okay, they're kind of grouped together and sometimes to pull them apart, you need to ungroup them a few times, shift click them, join them back up. I'm gonna select both of these, group them again, where are you, groupy? Okay, and copy it, switch to my other project and paste it. There it is there, cool. You might use this instead of my little cross. And I'm gonna say, you are black. And I'm gonna get rid of these lines. Boop. There we go, add your own sound effects. Sorry about that. So UI kits are handy, okay? Build stuff fast with a certain style, this kind of sketchy hand-drawn stuff. I'd be reluctant to use the hand-drawn style. Why? Because there's bound to be an icon that I don't have that's not in here that I'll have to do, and I'll have to try and make it look all hand-drawn-y. I'll end up spending ages for something that's not gonna help my, uh, you know, my user experience testing process when people are kind of checking this and making sure my wireframe works. They're not gonna care that it's kind of hand-sketchy wriggly, but it's gonna cause me problems actually making it. And when I say that, I probably wouldn't, I probably would. I've done it before, because it looks cool, sketchy. Look at that. All right, that is it. You're looking for UI kits, sticker sheets, or design systems, particularly for Adobe XD. Open them up and start appropriating pieces. All right, that is it. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Hi there, my name is Dan Scott. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to go further with Adobe XD, there is, I have a full course, there'll be a link in the description, it's called Adobe XD Essentials, there'll be a card up here you can click as well, uh, but yeah, carry on with your day, enjoy, and I might see you in the full course.